I'm going to create a life-changing recipe because it is biscotti. And biscotti would be considered a high-carb kind of treat or breakfast snack. And I'm making a low-carb version, so it's very life-changing. It will benefit my health and teach me another healthy recipe that I can do to incorporate into my life. But I'm going to talk about more ideas on how you can reorganize your life and how that can totally change your whole world. talk about reorganizing your life and how that positively affects every area of your life just by reorganizing yes that can make a huge impact I'm sure that you know that when you clean a closet it feels lighter when you straighten up things and start purging things you can feel a lightness in your life well this isn't so much about purging although that is part of it but reorganizing and i'll tell you why that's super important first thing i want to tell you is with anything in the universe anything that you want to make a change in your life around you don't have to necessarily take big huge steps to see big changes you can take small steps but it should also be consistent steps steady steps so you don't have to make these big, huge shifts or life changes to get big shift in your life, although that is one way to do it. I tend to do things that way. I moved to Egypt as an example of doing something big, but you don't have to do it that way. Of course, the bigger the steps, the bigger leap of faith that you take, the larger the reward will be but it will also come with a lot of shifting and dealing with what comes with taking large steps if you're not somebody who's a go-getter when it comes to taking leaps of faith and taking big steps or making radical changes some people are like that some people are not like that I tend to be that way I like to shift and I like to shift big and I like to shift fast but I will say it's not always the easiest choice. So let's talk about how you can just simply take step by step. And what I'm talking about particularly today is only one way. And that is by reorganizing your life. So I'm trying to talk and make this biscotti at the same time. And this is my first time making this biscotti. So I'm having to, I need to be multitasking. So I'm using a half a cup of soy flour. I never heard of soy flour in my life. Have you ever heard of soy flour? Let me know in the comments. I have never heard of it. And uh, so this is actually my first time using it. They don't have it in stores that I have seen. I found it on Amazon. I got this organic brand. Uh, and so yeah, it's supposedly lower carb than almond flour. And this does not even have the information on it. Weird. Anyway, that's what I heard. Um, so anyway, let's talk about the reorganizing. Quarter cup of almond flour. So reorganizing your life. You can reorganize your life in many ways. It could be you're reorganizing your house, or you could reorganize a kitchen, or you could reorganize a garage, or a bathroom, or a closet, or a bedroom, or a file system, or your pens, or your earrings, or your shoes, or your plants, or your mind. That's a good one to reorganize may take a little bit more effort, but it's a good one to reorganize. Uh, the point is you could reorganize things from hair clips to nail polish to uh, household products, to your refrigerator, to your closet, to your garage, to your whole house, to your 
book collection to your office to your fi file folders there's like endless things you can reorganize in my case i'm reorganizing my recipe so it is low carb instead of a high carb biscotti so i'm reorganizing this and it's going to totally help my health here and looking for a half a teaspoon of baking powder and so the point is it really doesn't matter what you reorganize but you should reorganize one thing and then continue to take steps to reorganize other things so it can be little things at a time reorganize your pens one day reorganize the drunk junk drawer one day you don't have to take on big huge projects they can be small I forgot I also needed two tablespoons of soy flour. flour. This recipe was in grams because the woman that I got it from is in London, I think, and I had to convert it all to our way. It's a little different. I just closed this bag and soy flour got in my eyes. Now what is the chances of that? <laughs> what what okay. I'm going to tell ask you to do is write a list of all the little things you can reorganize. Maybe a closet's too big for you to think about reorganizing right now, or it just seems totally like you're unmotivated to do that. Um, so you can say you're gonna reorganize the flatware drawer. So your forks and spoons and knives, reorganize that one day. Another one can be, you can reorganize the junk drawer one day. Another one can be, you're going to reorganize your pens or your art supplies and then you're going to reorganize your earrings or your underwear drawer so find little things to reorganize and just write the whole list and start doing every day just take you know it might take five minutes it might take 15 minutes it might take 30 minutes just make small things and do do one every day. Do one or two every day. You know, you can be a little bit more aggressive. You don't have to just like do, you could just do five minutes. But if it's only five minutes, maybe you do three different five minute things, right? One thing that I went, this might be too big for you to organize and you may not like to do this one. But one thing that I did to organize my clothes in the closet is I put them all by colored coding. So all my pinks are together, purples are together, green, blue, white, black, yeah. Um, except for like, I'll put all my jeans together regardless of the color. I would put my dresses together too. So there's certain things that I would just put together, but for the most part, it's all color coded and that was life changing for me in a big way because it's so it's amazing how you start seeing how other things can go with your clothes when you have them all separate like that because if you tend to wear the same thing with the same thing you might be missing out on something that would be something that that you don't even realize that you have that could also go with those things reorganizing my clothes by color i love it i love 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 it and it actually helps me remember the things i have it helps me to uh, wear more of the things i have and the way that i saw that was i love going to thrift stores and there's this one thrift store that i used to go to a lot well that i used to go to I say used to because I don't live in that area anymore, but sometimes I still go to that thrift store. And, oh, I put a quarter cup of uh, coconut oil and it's supposed to be melted, but it's pretty warm here in Florida, so this is pretty melted. Maybe not all the way melted, but enough melted. So they had all of their clothes color coordinated and also the dishes were like split like sets i didn't like this part they had sets of dishes split up because they put all the bowls in one area all the plates in another area and so all the cups in another area and 
if you were looking for a set of stuff, you should check all the different areas to see if you can find those uh, things that match, that go together. They shouldn't split up sets of like things like that. Uh, so the same with clothes. If there was a set with a matching jacket and pants and top, they would be all separated by the type of clothing and then by color. So that that is kind of adds a dimension onto it. I didn't realize they did that. Somebody that shopped there told me about it and I was like, oh, okay. But that's really a easy thing to do because if your closet already has everything hanging up, you can just color code it and I bet you, you're gonna find that you use a lot more of your things or find new ways to wear your things. Okay, so you get this part about reorganizing. Oh, I have a little list here and I didn't say some of these things. You could reorganize your work, how you do your work or your workstation. You can reorganize your friends or relationships. Like how much time are you spending with certain people? Are those really the people that are worthy of your time? Is it a balanced relationship or are you giving more than they're giving? Hopefully you're not giving less than they're giving. I mean, check it. <laughs> That's not a good relationship when one person is doing more than the other. And um, maybe those friendships aren't worthy of, to be in your life. So that's how you reorganize friendships. Or maybe you make a decision to spend more time with some people that you really care about that you haven't been spending time with them. Maybe you're reorganizing your schedule so you have you're balancing out where you're spending your time maybe you work too much or maybe you sp played too much or maybe you spent so much time with one person that you're neglecting other things so rebalancing your life in the way that you spend more if you can equal parts with uh, all the different areas of your life whether that's fun time work time health time friend time, family time, love time. Figure out all the areas in your life like it's a piece of pie and how you can balance that out. What else do I have on here? Oh, uh, reorganizing your habits. So maybe you're indulging too much in one area that's really not helping you. So thinking about that. And I think that I said schedule. So, okay, let's move on. Why? Would you want to reorganize things? I mean, for obvious reasons, right? Because it would be a benefit. It's helping your life. But let me tell you how it really benefits your life. Besides the obvious way. So you're supposed to just put a little bit of nut milk or water slowly until this comes to a doughy consistency. It's kind of too dry, so. Let us pray because this is the part you don't want to screw up. The way that this totally will benefit your life is that as you are reorganizing your life and you're doing, you can just do little things, but you're going to pretty much every day do one little thing. So, you know, if you have more time on a weekend, you want to, you might want to pick a reorganizing thing that is a little bit longer because you have more time. And if you're working during the week or taking care of kids and you don't have the time, you might save that day for the 5 to 15 minute reorg. Okay, so plan it out a little bit. Write your list and plan it out. Have a list for sure and keep adding to it. You're going to see how much this helps you. So as you're doing this every day, okay, every day you're doing something. Now, if you get sick or something comes up and you're un truly unable to, to organize something that takes five minutes, I mean, you can even do a tiny little drawer in your bathroom. But if there is a situation where you can't absolutely didn't get to it, I mean, life happens, right? But don't, if you make excuses, then that's, you know, that's just you not wanting to do it. So... Be honest with yourself. 
as you're doing this constantly and consistently, doesn't matter if it's just little things along the way, what happens is you get reorganizing energy flowing in your life. Like that becomes something that happens in your life because you're doing it. What you do and what you focus on and, and the actions you take and the way your mind is looking at it and thinking about it and structuring it, then you bring on that kind of energy and it shifts you. It's like shifting your mind and then pretty much because you've shifted your mind and energy, you'll start looking at more things in an organized way. You'll start thinking in a more organized way. Wow, this is good. It's supposed to be dough-like. You'll start living your life in a more organized way, naturally. Like it'll just start naturally happening because you're in that flow and energy. Okay, so that's a plus because now you're gonna get a benefit by being more organized and it starting to be a way of life for you that you're just naturally an organized person. And so that's gonna totally help you and it's gonna start reflecting throughout your life. Things in your life are gonna start getting more and more organized in a natural way without you trying to, to organize. Like you will still organize, but things will just start becoming more organized in general. And the beauty is the universe comes in and you know, the universe is always taking your lead. So if you're in reorganizing an organized state of mind, state of emotions, you'll start organizing your emotions too, which is great. You'll start organizing your health. You'll start organizing your everything. Then the universe is like, hey, I got to get into this because she is like totally in organization. So universe has to kick in and start organizing too. So the things that come to you, the new things that come in your life, the way that life starts behaving with you are... Oh, I forgot to put my, my uh, shoot. I wanted to put pecan, uh, pistachios in there. Man, it was all going so smooth because it wasn't on my list. And I don't know why, because she made hers with pistachios and almonds. So do I want to cut these? know if they cut. I'm going to cut these in half. I don't know if it really makes a difference, but I think she did when I watched the video. Anyway, so the universe will start just everything that's coming your way will start coming in an organized way, in a methodical way that feels good, that is orderly, that uh, is in sync. And that's a beautiful thing. When your life starts working for you in that way, man, things can totally change. You'll start getting things you want easier. Things will start feeling easier. Things will start being definitely less chaotic, less fearful, less unknowing. You'll feel more like you are clear and you know and that your your mind and your emotions are more clean and efficient and running in a very aware and exact state where things are finding a place in your mind in your world around you in your emotions and the things that need to go in with that organization will show up because what your energy is doing what your mind is thinking what your emotions are being will all be reflected in your experience in your life. So if you want things to run more efficiently in your life and you want things to show up for you more and things that are supportive to your life, then do this organizing because you will totally be in sync with that and you'll totally just start being more in sync with your life 
things will start being feeling a lot more organized. You'll get a lot more done, but it'll also feel more smooth and easy at the same time. And so also the things that the, the universe that will be delivered to you in the way that will be way more supportive of what you need and when you need and the more organized you are, the more you'll get the things you need and want and that will support you. The thing about the universe is the universe is always balancing things out. The universe is always trying to find balance. Also, if there's something you need in your life, the universe always has a solution. The problem is with these ongoing problems that we all tend to have, we all have things that are a little bit challenging and usually those types of things, not always, but there's usually one or two things that are ongoing through our lifetime that are hard to fix that we can't seem to figure out. But when you're doing something like this reorganizing, you will be more likely to be able to solve those things or the universe, you will be more open and able to receive the solution from the universe. That's the thing that it's not that there's not a solution and there's some big trick. I mean, there are things that will help you get your solutions to your problems, but if your mind and energy and emotions and thought forms and the way you think are all getting on board with this organization, then it has to organize the solution into your life. It will close unfinished business. Even if you're not even focusing on the issue, but you are working on all this organization, it will be a side effect, if you will, or a direct effect to bring in solutions for your problems too. Whatever your things that you wanna change in your life, whatever things you want to better in your life, by doing this organizing and you're consistent with it and you just keep doing it and doing it and doing it for forever, actually, not for a week, not for two months. Like if you stop doing it, then that magic of the organization energy will stop too. What you put your energy to is what will continue to be. So it depends on how much you need it, but this would be a habit and a change in your life that would be extremely beneficial <laughs> in problem solving and getting past things that challenges and things, just do it. And it feels good too, anyway. It really will, it's like cleaning up your life just by slowly organizing little things here and there. So this is such a tiny little recipe. I feel like I need to do a double recipe, but because I just did a single recipe, I'm just going to go with it. So they say to put it in a bag and then create a block of dough and then put it in the refrigerator for 30 minutes or overnight is fine too. This is it. So it's like a little loaf. And then after it's been in the fridge, you take it out and you cut it in like, you know, segments. So they're gonna be biscotti about that big. Biscottis are usually like that. So yeah, I think this recipe needs to be tripled at least. But they're baby biscotti, I guess. And uh, that's better carb-wise as well, right? So I got this and I'm gonna put it in the fridge. And that's how easy that was. We'll see how it comes out. I don't know if I'll be able to show you. Maybe I will record it when I do the other thing and put it in a video for tomorrow. Yeah, that sounds good. I'll put it in my video for tomorrow. So your whole life can change just by reorganizing little by little by little, but staying consistent for the long term and watch how your mind changes. Watch how you start thinking. 
you'll start thinking very specifically and methodically and very clearly, very like taking the straight line, knowing how to take the straight line instead of zigzagging around. It will really change the way you think. It'll change the way you feel. It'll change the way your emotions are. It'll change your belief system. It'll change the way that you perceive life and the universe will change and start supporting you and supporting you and supporting you in a really positive, direct, focused way. And it will just change the way everything happens in your life. And I am sure, I mean, I can't tell you I'm positive. I am positive, but you know, some people say they, oh, I've been doing that and it's not working. Well, usually people who say that is because they're not really doing it and they're not really in it all the way. You got to be in it to win it, okay? You got to be either all in and if you're not all in, you're only going to half-ass it. You're going to get half-ass results. That's the, that's the bottom line. So anything you do, be in it to win it. Be completely 100% in it and just stay the course and you will see things just dropping into your life so easy. I think this is a really easy and doable one that reaps you huge rewards. So I hope that you will do it because it's amazing. I went through a lot of reorganization in the last like three years and I purged a lot. If you can purge at the same time, even better because when you purge, you release energy and you open your energy to receive more. And then as you're receiving more, it'll be better because of the energy that you're riding in. So uh, I would recommend that if that's something that moves you. But like I said, just keep it small so you just keep doing it. Make it small and doable so it's something you'll stick to. What do you think? Do you think that you'll do this? Do you think that it is doable? Like it's something that you can commit to? Write it in the comments below and give me some ideas of the little things that you're gonna reorganize because if we get a list in the comments, it will help other people with ideas of things that they could do too. Let's help each other by sharing and that would be awesome. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, please take this moment to click on the subscribe button and the notification bell so you know when I'm uploading videos, as well as give me a thumbs up. Share this if it's not too much of a hassle for you, but really I would just appreciate the subscribe more than anything. So, Thank you, and I will see you again really soon.